Greetings to all guys watching this video. In this video, I am going to show you about what does it actually look like inside of a scientific calculator and what are all the parts will be there inside of a scientific calculator. Scientific calculator is used to perform various mathematical operations such as basic operations like addition, subtraction to higher complex operations like integration, differentiation, etc. Let's open it up and see what is inside. I have a test model for you. This test model is also working good. It is functioning fine. Let's open it up. Unscrew the screws. Beginners, please use tweezers while unscrewing the screws. Let's open it up. Yeah, this is how it actually looks like inside of a scientific calculator. This green color board is known as circuit board. As I have not made any changes to this components, it will be working good. It's fine. Let me explain you the components of the scientific calculator. This black color background is known as chip on board. It actually contains a microprocessor. This blue color capacitor is soldered to this PCB and all these small structures are also capacitors which are mounted to this PCB. All these linings represents the communication between one component to another component in the PCB. The data will be transferred from one component to another via these linings. As you can see all these linings are from display to processor, processor to other components. Let's see what's underneath this motherboard. Open all the screws. If you love this video, don't forget to give a like to this video and share with your friends. Yeah, let's open it up. While coming to electronics, all the components will be delicate, so handle it carefully. No harsh moments. Slowly make it upside down. This is the keyboard membrane and below this keyboard membrane there are plastic keys as you can see as I press them. These are the keyboard sensors. Let's fix this. Now take a look at this battery. This is a lithium battery. This is rechargeable. It gives the total power needed for this calculator to operate. Let's insert the battery. You can see there is a solar panel in the scientific calculator and there is a battery. The negative terminal of this solar panel is given to the circuit board, is connected to the circuit board via blue wire and from there the negative terminal is taken along with the black wire and given to the negative terminal of the battery. The positive terminal of the solar panel is given to the circuit board via orange color wire and from there it is given to the positive terminal of the battery by red wire. As the solar panel gets charged, it delivers to the battery and battery delivers to this circuit board. Here the display used as LCD display. 
let's take up this battery in battery there will be two terminals positive and negative that is anode and cathode as you see two metal plates there one is for anode and one is for cathode thank you for watching this video thank you everyone this is what all about the scientific calculator thank you ஆ மறக்காம சர்ப்ரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க